welcome to my channel. I am Liana with Music Academy International Inc. How are you all doing? I'm doing very well. I'm excited today because I'm gonna do one of the really fun pieces. It's uh, a la turca, the rondo a la turca by Mozart, as you could see it, <laughs> right? It's a really fun piece. So this tutorial is for those uh, uh, students that they already know how to play it and would like to improve it. You have many other tutorials on the YouTube <laughs> that they teach you how to play it, you know, note by note. So this tutorial, it's not about that. It's about tips, about fingering, about technicality and interpretation. So definitely it's for like a intermediate level and could be even for advanced. Um, Mozart, it's not, it seems easy, you know, it's not quite easy. You gotta really have a really crisp, nice technique and that's what we're gonna talk in uh, today's tutorials. So uh, in this um, series, I'm gonna do three or four or five uh, parts. Uh, I'm gonna take uh, probably first page uh, and then like section A and B, it's a rondo here. And then second part probably I'm gonna uh, take the octaves that everybody I know is gonna, ha <laughs> it's having uh, problems with it. So please do watch all the way to the end because many things that will be revealed. And again, welcome back to my channel. Uh, if you are new here, uh, please look into the playlist because there are over 150 videos over there with many fun tutorials for all ages and all uh, level, like beginners, intermediate and Chopin and other technique uh, series that I would like to look into because that it's very, very helpful for your fingers, especially the hand and series. Um, and definitely there are going to be links into the description. Please leave the comment, tell me how you do it. And uh, probably, definitely, if you'd like to like, share and subscribe, I will be really very happy. So let's get started right now. Um, so um, what we're going to talk about this, uh, so uh, we're going to obviously start with section A. Um, I want to tell you that I did hear this rondo played in different tempos from to so actually it's mostly a matter of how good of a pianist you are and uh, how fast you can do it, but on the same time, uh, how brisk and crisp you are in your fingers to choose the right tempo for you. I'm gonna go first with the first line. So I do have another camera on the top, so you can see my fingers. Uh, first of all, uh, I wanna point out the fingering on the right hand, very important. So this is the right finger, fingering. Do not do this fingering because it will be hard for you. I did see couple, so this, no, nah, it won't go that good. So I would uh, definitely su suggest you to do this. Four, three, two, one, three, up, go to the next one. Up, go to the next one. So I know how you would practice this. So uh, when you practice, do start in piano and create a beautiful melodical line all the way to the C. So they are, uh, it's the same pattern. One, one, two, three, four times. So this is first one. In piano, start in piano. More. I'm going to go next. Beautiful short staccato. 
So in Mozart, we're going to use a lot of staccato, but that staccato, so it's a short staccato from the fingers and low. You see that? So we're not doing, and we're not doing either, or blah, blah. No, it's short and very crisp. We're going to go in the next phrase, and I'm going to explain more. And then we're having this ornament here. All right. Some people, they're taking with three, four, five. Like, I could do it. Right? But I would suggest you to take it either with one, two, three. And the best, it will be two, with two, three, four. Why? Because we need to be really crisp on that one. my staccato on the right hand uh, close to the keys almost I'm not even uh, I'm not jumping high so as you can see it's very low mostly I'm not even taking the hands out of the keys and always end the phrase in a kind of you know mezzo piano or a piano because it's ending of the phrase all right, I'm going to go right now on the left hand. Uh, very easy, it's nothing here, it's an A minor chord, and then it's an E chord, right over there. But I know how to do that. So again, we're having a legato with a staccato. Can you hear how I'm pressing a little tiny bit uh, more? It's a little uh, pinky, it's a little bit accentuated, and then the, uh, the rest is, are very soft. And again, very close to the keys. Da, so you lean on it. Lean on it. And very cute staccato there. <laughs> Alright, so do practice your left hand right now. During my 30 years of experience in teaching and playing, I heard a lot of this. In which, what means that the right hand and the left hand, it's not balanced, meaning that they're exactly the same uh, uh, level, <laughs> and it really sounds bad compared with. to balance the hands, that means right hand to play it uh, louder than the left hand. It's not that easy to do it, especially if you didn't do it before. <clears throat> so the practice, you're not gonna like it, <laughs> but if you cannot practice by, uh, you know, if you don't know how to do it, this is the way to do it. So you will play the right hand and you will just mimic, you will fake that you play the left hand. That would be your first uh, step in put it together and creating a good sound. After you do that for many, many times and days, at least a week, I would say. If you are really skilled two, three days, <clears throat> like 10 times every day or 15 times every day, then you will try to put it together and you will uh, create left hand very soft and the right hand, you know, louder with the crescendo that I told you and with the cute staccato that I told you how to do it. Uh, 
How did you go? You, do you like it? So please leave the comments down below. Don't forget to like and share and subscribe if you like it. And I'm going to go a little tiny bit more uh, into the B section uh, on this tutorial. And let's see what's going on on here. All right. So we have this phrase. I'm going to play it all the way through it so you know what I'm talking about. like it would be played like that forte first time and then piano then forte again and then piano the good news is that you can do it actually kind of any way you do it any one you want any happy way you want to do it uh it just needs to be different okay i could try like first time a forte mezzo forte more piano and more piano or i can do forte it's right the important thing that all these four uh, um, uh, measures uh, not measures uh, um, motives <laughs> right needs to be different because otherwise it's boring uh, and again pay attention to the staccato very close to the keys again this part forte and then you're gonna start piano right so on this little trio you can just do that next uh, in part two we're gonna go over the acting and how you and how to make it really crisp and good so i hope you like it so please do like and subscribe and uh, check the second one and see you soon thank you so much